Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today in War Thunder, we are going to be looking at how to implement minor tech trees or minor nations into the game, while also trying to get rid of some of the issues uh, which plague minor tech trees if you had just added them in as their independent selves. And uh, the way that we're going to do this is first of all, we're going to have a look at where this idea came from, uh, also why this idea exists, and also how to implement it in general. So with the addition of the Swedish tech tree, the aviation one and also word that the ground tech tree is going to be coming this year there has been many more calls from community members on the forums on the tech hub on many other places for other nations to be added to the game it seems like there is always a push for new and more wonderful and interesting machines and all i can say is that's awesome that a lot of people are looking forward to a lot of vehicles eventually coming to the game for me personally a big landmark moment uh, for this kind of idea was with the Roy Cats. So, if you don't know, the Roy Cats in the British tree is a South African vehicle. The South Africans haven't really been represented at all in War Thunder at this point until it came along. And generally, when I saw the devlog for the Roy Cats, I didn't really see it as anything special, apart from a fast vehicle that the British could use at top tier, which would be pretty fun. And then I talked to a bunch of South Africans on the Tech Hub, uh, on the uh, on the you know Discord server over there, and the way they expressed it to me was the fact that they were so happy that they could see one of their own vehicles in the game. And I forgot about how uh, you know you take for granted stuff like that uh, when you come from places like Britain which is normally represented quite heavily in a lot of you know historic games or games uh, for World War two or games for the first World War or even just you know general games uh, overall you don't really get a lot of games which are based around South Africa or let's say based around Belgium or based around somewhere like uh, you know Norway and the fact is it is something that I completely forgot about the whole you know national pride of what your country has been able to produce. And this has kind of spurred me on to start thinking about ideas of how to be able to implement other vehicles like the Roy Cat uh, for nations, but also try and bring in the whole nation instead of just singular vehicles. Because in the past, what we've seen added uh, when it comes to other nations' vehicles, it's either like the Roy Cat, uh, so just plugged into the tech tree, or you have stuff such as premiums, like the IAR81C, or as event vehicles, uh, such as the two Macavas, uh, which we've seen in Operation Frost and also an event in the middle of 2019. And there are also many other vehicles that could easily fit this pattern of just being plugged into the game. Uh, it would be nice to see stuff like the Takam R2 uh, from Romania, the Olifant, of course, from the South Africans, or even a machine like the Fokker TV for the Dutch. But I think we can do a bit better than just having these random random independent premiums in different tech trees. Instead, what we could do is we could create a system which could uh, put in the whole tech trees of these nations, and then also, if they wanted to, you know, add premiums on top, whether it be closed beta testing premiums or just normal premiums. So, you know, the money aspect of it for gadging could be sorted through this system as well. So let's go through uh, how this would work. The first thing to understand is, uh, as I said, I would rather see smaller tech trees implemented in the game for these nations uh, so we have a way of getting access to all of the designs uh, to play in. Uh, but uh, we also have to think of a way which doesn't create issues with lineups. If you generally look at minor nations, and uh, understand, I'm not using minor nations as a pejorative, I'm using it as a general term for a nation which would not have access to as many vehicles to fill out the four major areas of War Thunder. So aviation, helicopters, ground and naval, and uh, without having to use other nations' vehicles. Generally, when you see a lot of these tech trees made uh, for minor nations and, uh, you know, fitting them into the game, what you see is a lot of other nations' vehicles plonked in, normally some British, normally some Americans, or sometimes some German ones, depending on what time period we're talking about. What if we could find a way 
which would uh, get rid of this problem um, by actually, you know, integrating them in different ways. So instead of just having the minor nations independently by themselves, so then they would always struggle to create lineups for naval arcade and naval realistic, being able to get ships alongside air, and then also ground realistic, uh, or even ground arcade or simulator, being able to create lineups, you know, around that, and they wouldn't be able to always be at the strength of one of the major nations. We already see this with, uh, you know, countries like Japan with something like their 5-7 lineup, or, um, you know, around uh, their 7-7 seven, seven lineup, where they only have really the STB-1. We don't want to expand this issue where nations only are really depending on one vehicle at a beyond and the rest are kind of just scrap meat. Instead, what we it would be much better to do would be to try and fill out the lineups as we go. So how do we fix this problem? Well, the best way to fix it is to integrate the minor nations into the current nations that we have. So therefore, you can build lineups not just from the minor nation, but also the major nation uh, that they're attached to. So you'd integrate the two ideas together. This means that you wouldn't have to worry about full lineups for the minor tech tree, and uh, you should see them as more supplementary to the major nation's tech tree that they're attached to. So instead of, you know, maybe having a full 5-7 British lineup, you could then maybe throw in, let's say, a 5-7 uh, Dutch vehicle into that lineup, creating, you know, a mixed, uh, a mixed squad of vehicles to take into a battle, or a lineup of vehicles to take into a battle, but both sides are, of course, represented. So the way I'm going to illustrate this is through two examples. The first is going to be using the Benelux tech tree, and we're going to be uh, supplementing the British tech tree in this case. The Benelux tech tree is uh, made by a bunch of wonderful community members, uh, the two that I've been making videos with, Super Cacti and Soldier. Uh, you can, you know, see those videos on the channel, and uh, I would definitely say go and have a look. The second example we're going to be using is the Hungarian tech tree uh, from uh, Miltak uh, CF. FD, and uh, once again, going to leave links in the description so you can have a look at these. And remember, the ranks uh, don't matter so much, so much for the vehicles. The amount of vehicles doesn't matter so much, since all of these factors can be changed. And also, at the same time, when you have a think about it, uh, these tech trees could even just be a single vehicle if it needed to be, since we're already adding them into the major tech trees lineup. It doesn't matter if there's one or a hundred vehicles in these. Tech Tech trees they would all fit. So let's go through the example of the Benelux tech trees. And so the good thing that we don't have to worry about with the Benelux tech trees is the fact that there would be four of them. Aviation, ground, helicopters, naval. So they don't have an issue where they don't have one of the major branches, but it's definitely true if we have a look at the air or the ground components that they have a lot of stuff from other nations such as America. So how would you actually make it uh, so you would have to unlock this tech tree uh, in a certain set of requirements. Now, I don't think this unlocking would be required, but I think it's a nice addition uh, to it to make it so that you unlock the major tech trees uh, vehicles first before getting to the minor tech tree vehicles, so therefore you have a little bit of experience with the vehicles from the major tech tree that you're going to supplement with the minor tech trees vehicles. So you pretty much set it up how the helicopter tech tree works. If you don't know how the helicopter tech tree works, you either have to get to rank 5 of ground vehicles or rank 5 of aircraft or airplanes or aviation to be able to unlock the helicopter tech tree for a specific nation. Now, uh, what I would like to do is expand that idea and make it like this. So either make it so you have to reach a certain rank in the British tech tree, which would be, of course, your major nation, in order to gain access to the Benelux tech tree, or what you would do is you would make it so you would have to research a certain rank in a specific British tech tree in order to gain access to that specific tech tree for the Benelux. So what I mean by this uh, as an example is if you reach rank 5 of the British ground vehicles, this would unlock the Benelux ground tech tree. Or if you research, let's say, rank 3 of British aviation, that would unlock the Benelux aviation tech tree, and then you can start researching it. The general 
tech tree would work like this just like every other tech tree you would have reserve vehicles it wouldn't matter what rank they are because you've already had to research through the ranks of the major tech tree to get there you would uh, have to obviously just like helicopters pay silver lines for the first uh, vehicle to unlock and then you could use that to research vehicles in that tech tree so this would be a simple way of making it so there is some requirements in order to get through the tech tree but what you get out of it is a way to supplement your major tech tree and get these wonderful interesting and weird vehicles which i think everybody would like to see and this could work across the board it could work for aviation it could work for naval it could work for ground for britain and there is no reason why more than one minor nation could not be attached to somewhere like britain or to somewhere like another nation uh, everybody brings up israel when it comes to america and france and britain because there were so many different ideas going into that country around a certain times of you know the century so therefore we would have to work out you know which tech tree to attach it to but at the end of the day i think a lot of people would still like to see these vehicles represented in game and i this is a solid way of being able to add them without having to really you know screw with anything else now the next option as i said the next example is looking at uh hungary as a nation now hungary as a nation is very strong when it comes to its ground forces especially in world war ii a lot of really interesting designs a lot of really cool stuff going on on top of this as well its nation goes all the way up to rank 7 with stuff like the t72 m2av and even machines technically like the leopard 2a4 now which would be around you could also have stuff like the shilka the t55a and of course the t72 m1 so for me uh, it's a nation which is very well represented in uh, the ground portion but let's just say just uh, for this today uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say that hungary is able to field in the game a aviation tech tree a fleet tech tree an army tech tree but not a helicopters tech tree so you have only access to these three separate tech trees but not the helicopter ones so if this was an independent tech tree it would always be at an inherent disadvantage towards the other tech trees because they wouldn't have access to helicopters so they wouldn't have access to that power at the top tiers of the game but if you set it up like this as uh, seen as a minor nation inside another nation in this form would be germany uh, it means that you would supplement you know the vehicles of germany so you would get access to the german helicopters alongside uh, everything else from the hungarian point of view so for me this fixes one of the fundamental options that a lot of vehicles would have if they were just from minor nations because it just means that you can run it with you know it's a major nation tech tree and the only thing you know which is an issue with that is of course there will be a few arguments on which tech tree it should be in but i don't think that should be too much of an issue for a lot of people and also the other argument is when it comes to the trees themselves how would be a good way to open the requirements for them would it be best to use this helicopter way but only do it one way where with the army you have to unlock tanks and then for the aviation you have to unlock planes of the major or the father tech tree or would it be better just to open it up like helicopters is where you can you know research either of the branches to get access to it i think for me this is a comprehensive way of being able to add uh, smaller tech trees into the game even if it is just five or six or even ten vehicles this would be the perfect way to do it compared to some of the ways uh, that have been listed where everybody would get their own little independent tech tree and would really struggle from the lineup point of view so hopefully uh, we'll see a system like this in the future uh, because I think this is easily the best way to do it. The negatives of this is if you want access to a specific tech tree such as the Benelux one, yes you do have to be able to research uh, through some of the British stuff beforehand but I think uh, that is a much better system uh, instead of just being inherently at a disadvantage uh, compared to other nations because you won't have the firepower uh, that is required to be useful 
at every BR like the major nations are. As I said before, we already have nations in the game such as Japan which have large holes in their research tree. I don't think adding more would be a good idea. I think it would be much better to be able to add them as supplemental stuff. It also means that you can get rid of all of the copycat vehicles in these tech trees. One of the problems, once again, with the minor nations is they have to themselves be supplemented by stuff such as Panzers, by stuff such as Shermans, and as we've seen with the Chinese tech tree, at least in my opinion, it was a bit rough getting through to rank 4 in that tech tree because the majority of the machines that were on offer well, we'd already played before uh, out of other tech trees. And yes, you can make some really cool lineups. You know, the 3-7 lineup and now the 5-7 lineup with the Hellcat going up. Yeah, they're really fun and entertaining lineups. But at the same time, if you've already played them once, it's very hard to get somebody to play exactly the same experience again and tell them to enjoy it in exactly the same way. With this new system, that wouldn't be required because you could mean that you could get rid of all that filler content in parts of the tech tree because they would themselves be supplemented by that content in the major tech tree that they're attached to. Anyway, uh, that is the idea in general. I hope you uh, like the idea, and hopefully we can get some more representation in War Thunder, which uh, shows some of the minor nations that do have some really interesting military vehicles, which would be lovely to see. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Ambrosius McClellan, B. Young, Blackie, Chris Giltname, Daniel Stanton, Jay Wilt, John Ryman, Martinez, Moxie, Super Cacti, Trigger Hippie, Eugene's Terry, and also Elove Goat and Samuel Slick for supporting the channel.